Could you please introduce yourself and tell me what course you teach? Yeah, my name is Eric Bolton. I'm an assistant professor of molecular and integrative physiology. And uh, so my research interests are in prostate development, function, and prostate disease progression. Um, so in line with this, I teach several MCV courses. The one that's kind of nearest and dearest to me is MCV 320, uh, which is formerly known as, or formerly listed as MCV 493 MHD. So it's still mechanisms of human disease, um, but it will hopefully uh, next spring be offered as 320. Um, it's taught uh, each spring. And uh, I guess in terms of kind of introducing it or giving you an overview, uh, it's mainly designed to look at some of the how molecular and cellular uh, abnormalities or uh, say, say defects lead to uh, pathophysiology and they lead to uh, common diseases. And so uh, we're looking at uh, environmental, uh, genetic, and even epigenetic type mechanisms that lead to common pathology and pathophysiology of disease. What's the general format of your course? Are there any discussion sections or is the lecture taught in seminar format? And also, are there eye clickers used in the course? Yeah, so it is uh, entirely lecture format. Uh, there are eye clickers used in the vast majority of lectures. And so we use that uh, to not only track attendance, but also to, uh, say, wake students up occasionally and uh, try to engage them in, in uh, kind of question and answer responses. How are students in your course graded with, as far as exams, any quizzes, or homework? So overall the grade is based on, uh, the vast majority is based on exams. So 96% of the grade is based on, or 94% of the grade is based on exams. About 6% is devoted to uh, regular attendance. Um, and there are four exams in the course that are equally uh, divided into, uh, say, 118 points. So those. Uh, exams count equally towards your total point total. With regard to textbooks, are there any required textbooks that students must purchase for the course, or are there PowerPoint slides provided before class? Yeah, so at this time, we don't have a textbook that exactly matches the flow of the course. Uh, there is a recommended textbook. Uh, that being said, it, it maybe is equivalent to about 40 to 50 percent of, of some of the lecture content, uh, but there's not a great overlap between lecture content and the text. So uh, lecture notes are provided on the course website for all students to download before the lectures. And those lecture notes are essentially uh, all of the PowerPoint slides. That contains all the material on the PowerPoint slides that are used in lecture. And so students are, are the, the lecture notes are designed to be kind of an outline for students so that they can uh, take as many notes as they want, but they don't have to worry about trying to draw and copy down all of the information on the slides. Are there any prerequisites required before taking the course or any kind of background knowledge that you would recommend students have? Uh, so the prerequisite for the course is MCV 252, um, cell tissues and development, I believe. Uh, also as a, uh, since, since that is required uh, you, uh, for that requirement, you also have to take MCV 250, which is, I believe, molecular genetics. Um, those are the, really the two main courses that I think are most important to have as background. Um, a, a number of other students that are also taking anatomy and physiology while they're taking this MCV course uh, find that they synergize quite well, but anatomy and physiology is not a prereq for the course. How would you say the topics covered in your course apply to current research or medical and scientific advancements? So, so the, the, this course, unlike I'd say many of the other courses taught uh, by MCP, is very disease focused. Um, that is, you know, what each lecture is based on learning information about diseases. Uh, and so to do that, you know, we're bringing in a lot of research, very recent research and clinical findings in, in in terms of diagnosis and therapeutic techniques, and so each lecture has that incorporated into it.